Adobe InDesign, a really helpful way to keep your document organized is to use section markers. Now this can be great for adding repetitive section markers to multi-section publications, like books, magazines, and reports, which can help you minimize potential mistakes and help maintain clarity, consistency, and automated updates across your layouts. Want to learn how to use them? Then check out this pro tip. First, create your document. In this instance, I'll set the pages to 10 and I'll turn on facing pages. Click OK. With the document open, double click on your first parent page and place in a text frame. In this instance, I'll place a text frame in the bottom left corner of the left page. Click into the text frame, come up to type, down to insert special character, across to markers and click on section marker. Upon click, you will now see section contained in the frame. Next, set the text to a font, size, and alignment that works for you. If you want a section marker on each page, click and drag the text frame while holding Alt plus Shift across to the bottom right corner. Double click back onto a page in the Pages panel, and for now, you will see nothing. Next, choose where you want the section to start. Here, I'll start my section on page two. Right click on the page and click on Numbering and Section Options. In the menu, click into the section marker field and type in your section title. In this instance, I'll type in project section one. Click OK, and now you will see project section one in the bottom left and right of your pages, and in the pages panel, a triangle over your page. This triangle represents where the section starts. To add another section, come to the next page. In this instance, I'll start a new section on page six. Right click on the page, click on numbering and section options. In the menu, click into the section marker field and type in your new section title. In this instance, I'll type in project section two. Click OK, and now you will see project section two in the bottom left and right of your pages after page six. And in the pages panel, a triangle symbol over page six. One last time, on page eight, I'll right click on the page, click on numbering and section options. In the menu, click into the section marker field and type in your new section title. In this instance, I'll type in project section three, click OK, and now you will see project section three in the bottom left and right of your pages after page eight. And in the pages panel, a triangle symbol over page eight. And now I have a document including three sections in the bottom left and right of each page. Excellent. So that's how to add sections in InDesign. For more pro InDesign tips and tricks, check out the channel and be sure to like and subscribe for more. Until next time, unleash your creativity and I'll see you in the next one.